It's been one week since you looked at me. Cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me, saying get back together, come back and see me. Three days since the living room. I realized it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you. Yesterday you'd forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Hold it now, I'll watch the hood wink. Does it make you stop think? You'll think you're looking at Aquaman. I summon fish to the dish, although I like the shallow Swiss, I like the sushi, cause it's never touch a frying pan. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and this is the 90s Guy Show. Now I just want to jump right into the topic that I've been thinking about for a couple days. And a lot of people might disagree with me on this, and that's fine. Uh, the new generation of gamers, no offense to any of you guys. You know, I grew up in the uh, late 80s, early 90s generation of video gaming. So excuse me for sounding like an old fogey. Anyways, I want to talk about has online gaming... Uh, downloadable content, new technology, has it destroyed the gaming experience? Has it made it less personable? Me, my opinion, yes. Now, I I remember gaming with your friends. You'd go over to their house, they'd come over to your house, you'd get a pizza, get some food, hang out, have a sleepover, you know, that kind of thing, and you'd all get pissed off at each other throwing a shell uh, during Mario Kart, see who could get farthest in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, double dribble on NES, Streets of Rage on Sega Genesis, you know, the list goes on. I remember playing Madden uh, 94, I believe, and NBA Jam on Super Nintendo and Genesis. Your friends had to actually come over to your house. You had to go over to their house. Now, I... I have nothing wrong with technology. I have no beef with it whatsoever. It's just, it's become less personable. Instead of going over to a friend's house and playing games and getting a group of people together, it's now like, hey man, what's your gamer tag? Well, why don't you just come over? Well, we can play each other online. We live like 10 minutes away from each other. But it's just easier. I don't want to leave my house. It's become impersonable. Same thing with Netflix and Hulu. I love the services, don't get me wrong. But it's like we don't even want to leave the house anymore. And I understand that. From my standpoint, I don't like to leave the house either. You know, due to my depression and anxiety, I don't like to leave the house either. But at least before I had to leave the house. Now you can shop online. You can watch movies directly to your TV or your uh, smartphone or whatever. And you don't have to leave anymore. If you want to play with your friends uh, video gaming, all you got to do is log on. And there you go. You can play with your friends from three states away, which is cool. It is really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's a really cool thing. But at the same time, it went from hanging out with your friends, having that, that bond and that, that gaming experience, the appreciation for the game, and just, just having a good time, to now you sit in your living room, and stare at a screen and, and play in your house by yourself, alone. Eating chips, eating your food, and talking through a headset. As opposed to talking to the person next to you or the people behind you on the couch. It's changed. I get it. Technology has changed a lot of things. But I just wish we could go back to, to those times of before having the internet connection to video game systems before having the downloadable content. What happened to unlocking things in games? Now you pay $60 for a game and then to get the extra, the content of upgrades and, and new characters and all kinds of stuff, you have to shell out another $40 to $50. And it's complete crazy bullshit. It just pisses me off. You know, like, I, I bought the, the 2K16, the WWE 2K16. Got the game. Paid very little for it because I had a bunch of trading credit at GameStop. And then they released all these different things. More wrestlers, better attributes, all this kind of stuff. And it said, like, Season Pass, $34.95. So I just paid for a brand new game. And then now you want me to buy more stuff. Now the older games, you had to play through the game and earn those. It was it was it was given to you. Now it's like 90% downloadable content 
10% game. And I, I, oh, it just drives me insane that the, the amount of money that you have to shell out to even get the full game and experience. And I've said this before, great graphics do not make great games. I've seen fantastic graphics on games. The story in the game is absolute shit. The, the dynamics and the, the all-around just feeling that you get playing certain games is just boring and tedious and recycled garbage. The games that I grew up with, even as, as late as like PlayStation 2, Xbox era, you had games like Red Dead Redemption, Gun, um, even Medal of Honor, which everybody loves the Call of Duty games. Don't get me wrong. Call of Duty is awesome, but at the same time, you had Medal of Honor, which was good story, really decent graphics for the time, and it was just a fun game. You didn't have to hook it up to the internet. It's going to become to the point now where in order to play certain games, you have to have it hooked up to the internet. It's gonna, You have to have an internet connection to do anything with it. That's why I was pissed off when I found out that when, I mean, I have internet connection, so, I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. But I'm just saying that in order to play certain games, eventually it's going to be dependent completely on having the internet connection. And uh, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me stuck in my ways. You know, I'm a 90s guy. Uh, you know, I grew up in the 90s. And it just seems like year after year, technology gets better and improves a lot of things but at the same time it takes away a lot of I don't know I don't even know what you call it but I miss going to a video store and running a game and running a movie and and looking at that case and being able to to read on the back about the movie and see the cover art and uh, you know uh, you watch the movie and you see the previews and you could see movies that are coming out special features with, you know, some of the cast, maybe. And uh, the games, you know, you could rent them, uh, you know, for 4 or $5, keep them for three days, try them out, and then if you really liked it, you could go buy the game. And that was that was a cool thing. But Blockbuster's gone. The two mom-and-pop places that I had, Old Town Video's gone. Hollywood Video's gone. All they have left is Family Video. I have no emotional attachment to Family Video because by the time Family Video came around, I didn't rent videos anymore. So it wasn't that big of a deal to me. But uh, anyways, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all later.